Hey guys, welcome back. On this video, we're going to be installing Unity Game Engine. Alright, so first things first, open up your favorite uh, web browser. As for myself, I'm going to be using Edge. Just type in Unity. Press enter. Alright, now it should be the first link. Just say Unity.com. Unity-Unity. Click on that. Once it opens up and you're presented with this page, you're going to see right at the upper right, you're going to see Get Started. Also, you'll see to your far right a little white icon. And over here, you can either sign in if you already have an existing account, or you can create an account by clicking on Create a Unity ID. So uh, let's click on Get Started. Once that opens up, you're going to be presented with three options. There's going to be the Plus, Pro, and Personal. Now, the one we're going to be downloading is Personal. And it's also a free version of Unity for beginners. Does not include additional support, training, and services. Well, uh, we basically have YouTube for that. So click on Try Personal. Click on Accept Terms. Click on Download Unity Hub. If you're using Edge, it'll say on the bottom, Run or Save. I'm going to click on Save. I'm going to click on Run. And License Agreement. I agree. Now it's going to ask you Destination Folder. It's basically where it's going to install Unity. As for myself, I'm going to leave it at the default spot, which is the C drive. If you want to install it to a different hard drive and you don't have too much space, I do recommend having at least... 30 to 40 gigs because if you're going to download any assets or basically creating different projects you don't want to save it to the spot where you have the least amount of space so as for myself I already have more than 30 gigs so I'm good but for you just pick whatever hard drive you feel more comfortable so I'm going to leave it as default click on install run unity hub Click on finish. I can shrink this down for a second. Allow access. And here we go. All right, so most likely it'll ask you to sign in. If you didn't already create an account, just, already, just go ahead and do that. As you can see, it already has me signed in. So I'm going to click on download. And it's going to show you all the versions of Unity past and present. All right, so we're going to go to the top. We're going to download the latest version. As for myself, it says 2019-1-2F1. Now, you might have a newer version, so that's cool. Click on download and just leave it at default settings. All the stuff you can add later. Click on next. I agree. Done. Click yes. And as you can see, it's already downloading for me. All right, so while it's downloading, let's go back over to this web browser. And there's a few assets that I recommend downloading, especially if you're new to Unity. All right, so we're going to go to Unity Store. Asset Store. Click on that. Now remember, if you didn't make an account, you can go ahead and sign in. But once you're in, I would say the top three assets that I would start off with is standard assets. And here it is right over here. It's free. Now what this has is vehicles. It has a player controller that way you can actually walk around or use a physical controller you know basically it's the best way to start off if I would have known this when I first started it would have saved me a lot of time so I'm trying to do that for you guys all right so a standard assets that's one you can either uh, add to assets that way it'll download it right to unity for you or you can just open up unity and download it through there which I'll show you later in another video but standard assets, that's the first one. 
And then I would say poly brush. That's another. Which you can paint, sculpt, blend. It's great. And the next one is Pro Builder. And this one you can actually design your level. Which is basically making it into if let's say if you're coming from like Black Ops, it's kinda like Radiant. And uh what's the last one? Pro Grids, which is this one. It's basically gonna set up a little grid so you can size things the way you want them and know the amount of spacing you have between objects and you know it really helps so I would say those are the top four assets I would start off with but uh, let's see here we go it's downloading it's almost done all right so we can close this out let's just wait for this to finish here we go all right it's installing Visual Studio because uh, I believe Unity runs on C Sharp, so it's basically a coding application along with it. If you choose to code. All right, let's give this a few more seconds. It's almost done. But uh, some of my most favorite games are actually made in Unity, which is uh, Subnautica. I know um, Escape from Tarkov is made with Unity. I think The Long Dark might have. I'm not sure on that one. But there's a lot of potential if you're willing to take the time. I mean, basically, if you've been looking at videos on my channel, then you know that this can lead to something better, you know? All right, so uh, I think we're good. I think it's installed. I have something saved in the cloud, which is, let's say if you're working on a project and you want to share with your buddies, so you guys could work on it together. You could also save items on the cloud and share it with your friends. All right, so uh, let's go over to new. And we're going to call this tutorial. Let's say if you added any assets from before, They'll show up here in the list. And you can just select your packages. I'm going to select all four. Press done. And I'm going to create it. And it's going to save it in users uptown folder. And that's all my information. Click create. Give it a few seconds. It's basically setting up the scripts and uh, my standard assets, basically anything that I would want imported from that list. So let's say if there's anything that you got from the store and you make a new project, it'll show up there. You could also import them straight from Unity after you download them, after you already made the project, but uh, it's, it's either way. All right, we're almost there. packages there we go you see pro grids pro uh pro builder i love pro builder such a great addition all right um let's see almost there there we go if you're wondering uh what my system specs are I got a i7 8700K, 6 core, 32 gigs of RAM. I'm greedy like that. And uh, as far as the graphics card, I have a 1070 Ti from Asus Strix. So, yeah, I'm good to go. Let's see, this is almost there.
importing small assets. You know, in future videos, I'm hoping on um, developing levels in Call of Duty and importing them into Unity, which is a lot, well, it's, I say the process is a lot easier, and here we go. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so there you have it, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.